This is my laser cutter. I bought it a couple of years ago. But one thing that bothers me since I bought the machine is the noise it makes while working. So when you do turn the machine on, you can hear that the compressor, which is used to pump air into the nozzle, is quite loud and also rattles the whole machine. Here you can see I'm cutting a piece of acrylic, the blower, which is used to suck the fumes out of the machine and out of the room, is quite loud too. Today I want to address the vacuum and um, for that I made this little CAD model here. So as you can see, I want to build a blower box basically below the machine. So on the left side on the back of the machine will be the blower uh, motor that came with the machine. And in front of that, I will put uh, some filter cartridges. Also on the back side, but on the right, there will be the water chiller, which is used to cool the laser tube. Then there's some leftover space, which I will just use for some material storage. First I had to ask my buddies for help. There are just a couple of screws hidden inside the machine that you have to remove and then you can just lift up the whole machine and disconnect it from its feet. This base is just put together with a couple of spot welds. So if we take those out, the whole thing just comes apart. The next step is to put the box together. I had the wood plates cut to size in a local hardware store. Now I just used some glue and a nail gun to fix everything in place. The construction is quite easy, so instead of rumbling, I will just let you see how I build it instead. Next step is to build the box for the filters. I plan to reuse filter cartridges I bought when I built my first filter box for this laser cutter. They are used, but they still work just fine. Next time though, I wouldn't buy these kind of filters again. Instead, I'd recommend buying air filter cartridges that are used for LKVs for example, because they are much cheaper to buy and replace than these industrial ones I got. But since I already have them, I reuse them. Now to mount them I came up with this quick and easy solution. They are basically clamped together by two sheets of wood. And to seal them up I applied a sheet of self-adhesive foam called Armaflex. After the foam was applied to the wood I cut it to size and also cut some holes into it. So then I could push the filters through these holes and they were nice and tight. And this is how the filters are mounted. So basically one side sticks through the hole in the sealed plate and the other end is then just laid into this holder plate basically. And then to fix it in place I just used the nail gun again and with a couple of nails 
and these little strips I fixed everything in place. I didn't want the motor to transfer any vibrations into the case that's why I put this sheet of foam into the bottom of the case and the motor will just sit on top of it. In fact I won't use any screws instead I will just glue it in place with more self adhesive foam. This is the blower that came with the machine and as you can hear it is made from thin sheet metal. It blows a lot of air but it also makes a lot of noise. Now to reduce that noise I attached this noise suppression material to it and after I covered basically the whole blower I also applied self adhesive foam to it. The idea is that the blower case will be clamped into the case just by the foam. This will help to completely isolate the case from any motor vibrations. Also it will create a seal on the output of the blower. So now that the motor is prepared let's mount it in the box. This is very easy to do, so I just followed these steps. 1. Cut a hole in the box. 2. Put your junk in that box. Um, wait a minute, that's a project for another day. So anyway, I put the motor into the box and as you can see I, I used these strips of foam to hold the motor in place. I have to admit this looks a bit sketchy, but uh, as you can see and here it just works fine so there's no problem at all there's no vibration on the case there's very little vibration on the motor then i had mounted the flange for the tube and i sealed it with silicone i finished my work by laying the motor wire out of the box and also by gluing the box on the old wheelbase to close the lid i first applied a little bit of silicone on top of the box and then put some screws in and that is so i can open the box very easily again if there's something wrong with the motor or if i have to clean the filters now the day is nearly over so the last thing i did on that day was to apply a last coat of paint now it's the next day and we are back inside again and now my workplace is a little bit tight at the moment so you can see me bringing the box back in and I had to ask my friend again to help me carry the laser back out the box. Now this is the port where normally the tube would be connected to the blower but now that the blower is set directly underneath we don't need it anymore. So I cut this hole in the bottom of the laser cutter and then transferred it over to the box so that this hole is directly above the filters and the blower sucks the air directly from the machine without the tube. The old part is not needed anymore, that's why I made a nice 3D printed cover for it. <laughs> Just kidding, I made it shitty. But anyway, here's the finished product. As you can see I have already put some leftover material inside. I have split it up for plexiglass and wood but I think I will reorganize it in new and used material. Here in the back is the water chiller uh, which is used for cooling the laser tube and here you can see underneath the laser cutter there is a complete sheet of self adhesive foam and that is to decouple the machine from any vibrations that may be left over from the motor. So let's see everything in action shall we? This is the laser cutter in idle mode. I put in a switch so I can manually turn the motor on and off. Now this is how it sounds when I turn the motor on. I'm not sure how well you can hear the difference from the video, but for me it sounds like the blower is now very quiet compared to how it used to be. I'm very happy with the result. You will find links to my CID design files in the description. For today this is all I have to show, but I have a lot of ideas I want to implement in this laser cutter. I hope to see you again soon. Until then, have a nice day and see you later.